Thanks for stopping by this week on GoPSUSports.com. Brian Tripp joined by the head coach of the Nittany Lions, Guy Godowski. Guy, you've talked over and over again about how you want to see this team progress away from wins and losses. Yeah. Let's take a look at the first 55 minutes of both games in Alaska. <laughs> did you like the, the way uh, your team played? Absolutely. For 55 minutes, we did. And, and certainly, there's a lot of positives to take out of it. But becoming a team that, for lack of a better term, step on someone's throat when, we're, when they're down is, is a difficult process. Um, it's something that happened to us twice and something we have to get better at. And I think it's a good goal to have. It's certainly an area, I call it mental toughness, where we have to get better and get more consistent. And having two games like that certainly identifies it. Last year, you only played with a lead entering the final 10 minutes of a game eight times. Is that then learning how to do it in a progression that's natural for a team that's still growing? I think it's natural, but we, I think we learned a lot in that aspect last year, but it's something that it's, it's a little bit like back checking. You really have to focus, refocus on it. It just doesn't come naturally individually. You have to get, you have to be mentally tough. Uh, sometimes you have to be reminded of that. And I think we were this weekend. Another thing that's probably frustrating for a coach is seeing guys get hurt. How, how tough is that when you're trying to get the team in some rhythm early? Well, it's part of the game, and that's why we're fortunate to grow and grow as a problem and get better and better depth. And so it's part of hockey. It's tough to see an individual get hurt. You always care for the individuals. But from a program standpoint and team standpoint, it's part of the game. But it does allow you to showcase some depth. And I know Max Gardner and Connor Varley especially played well, guys that maybe normally don't jump off on the stat sheet. Uh, well, they sure did, yeah, for statistically well. Connor Varley had a great goal. And actually, Max was beautiful. It's too bad that they don't draw pictures on the score sheet because uh, his was a beauty. Can you draw like that? <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> all right, Holy Cross is coming in this weekend. Friday and Sunday, a little bit different schedule. 7 o'clock puck drop on Friday and then noon on Sunday against Holy Cross. Getting back here should be a fun weekend with Ohio State football there Saturday. And we can't wait to play here at Pugil Ice Ramp, play with this atmosphere in front of the student body. I mean, we really crave it. We love it. We can't wait. And Penn State's only home this weekend, then next weekend before a long time on the road. So make sure you're here at Pagula Ice Arena this weekend. Guy, thanks. Thank you.